subbies, subbies, it is the weekend and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It is officially the weekend, I have just finished work. Um, now home, it's now like 20 past 11, wrong arm. I had to swap my um, Fitbit because my arm's got a rash. But it's now 23 minutes past 11, I am home, just need to get my uniform and get into day clothes. But first things first, I'm going to do my admin calendars. So yes, it's the weekend for me because I don't work weekends. I, I do it if it's overtime, but there isn't. I haven't asked for overtime this weekend, so I have got the weekend off. So as always, the little tiny ones are the two snowballs. So we have another two snowballs today. Last time we got these were when I had to go to A and E. Um, so that's the lint one. We then have the sorry. A bit messy in my bedroom at the moment. Festive metal calendar and it is 11 today. The snowman. Oh, that's quite cute. And the solution, as always. And then onto the body farm one. I have had a question of where. Um, I got this from I got this from Argos in the January sale. Um, it was originally fifteen to twenty pound. It got dropped to a fiver, so I bought it and it sold out within. With when people found out um, there was a fiver from another twenty quid, it sold out pretty quick. So I managed to get myself one. And number eleven is a um, thingy one. Looks like it's going to be a hand lotion or a body scrub. Could even be a face wash, I've not done face wash yet. Oh, oh, this is a bit posh. This is just a bit posh. Um, I'm trying to get gonna try and get into it now. They make it so hard, this bubble tea one is so hard to get out. It is ridiculous. There we go. Got it out. This is the jelly. Bubble tea jelly, and it is a bubble bath and shower gel. That looks rather nice. Never seen this before, so it's up there. Is it hibiscus and acai berry tea? That's very nice. So, yeah, that's catch. I like the packaging. So, yeah, that's number 11, I think. Yeah, number 11. I'm actually looking forward to using that. And it focuses, which it doesn't want to anymore. There we go. Anyway, my plans are to get changed, have a snack. I bought myself a yogurt after work for a snack because it's too early for lunch yet. And then I'll be having my sandwich. I bought some beef. So I'll be having a sandwich once lunchtime comes. And then I will, um, I need to go to Geisley. So I'm planning on going to Geisley. Um, what did I buy from work, you ask? I bought some chocolate fingers, these were a pound, they're on offer. I bought, mm, yes, a Yule log, this was an offer for 150 from 190 And with the Yule log I also bought some Elmia double, um, double cream, because I, I can't do single cream, single cream is disgusting. Um, I bought two packs of a shortbread, this stuff is gorgeous, I'm not saying to be shortbread, it's absolutely gorgeous. Highland shortbread, these were 80p each. And then I bought this. This got reduced to a 10, 10p from £1.50. It was one on offer for £1.50, but because the box is damaged, it was 10p um, just so we could sell it off. But the bag's fine, so I've got some more Cheerios. I also bought um I also bought um some spraying anchor cream that was 180. Um beef slices 195 and I also bought a um, Euro Millions for tonight, which is 2 50 and a vanilla yogurt for my snack, which was 40p, and that was it. Um, so yeah, I do have the Poundland haul to film today. Um, so once I've done that, my bedroom will be nice and tidy again. So at the moment, it is a bit tiny bit messy, but it'll be nice once it gets back to normal messiness. Anyway, yes, I just need to get changed um gotta go downstairs and most likely 
actually. I'm going to have a snack and then I might most likely we'll come upstairs and um, film the Poundland Hall. And then I shall be going to Geisley. I want to go to Geisley before kids come out of school. Um, I need to put a wash on as well. So I need to get stuff done today. And I don't have any of a jumpers to wear. That's just great. I have not done washing in so long. Because I've just not been in your room that I've been I'm running out clothes in my wardrobe. True hurts, doesn't it? Uh so yeah, I'm gonna wear some joggers today and a jumper and a top and then I shall see you once I am ready. And just like that I am ready to get on with stuff. So I'm just gonna sort a bag of washing out first. And then I'll be, if the washing machine's empty, I'll be able to set that downstairs. But I think it's on a cycle at the moment. But I need to put my uniform in the wash and get my laundry basket down. Because it's at the moment, it's overflowing. And then I just need to get on with jobs today, guys. I need to get on with, so yeah. I will be going to guys for those, so the vlog will be a bit better. Right, guys, I've put a wash on. I've sat on my phone for 20 minutes. Oopsies, I was watching a video. Um, but I've put a wash on. Um, me and mum and I were getting, gonna go, get my breath back. So out of shape. No, it isn't that. It's my heart. It's my lovely, juggly, messed up heart. Um, I have been on the phone for 20 minutes. Mum's just watching this morning's panto. Me and mum and I are gonna get ready to go out. And I have put a wash on. Put my uniform in the wash ready for Monday. And I'm sorting my desk out a little bit. But yes, help Queen, you're in my bed. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi, beautiful baby. Look at that face. And I need to shut my door now because there is copyright music on the TV. And my camera is sensitive, so it will pick it up. So yes, I'm now going to get ready. To go to Geisley with mum. I'm gonna go spend the rest of these vouchers so I'll just find something that I would like that fancy. Because we're off to Morrison's and then on the way home we go past Boots and West Side so I just need to get some money out of my money jar. That's my grandparents' need gift cards but they pay me back anyway so it's fine. Fingers crossed when they come today they can actually um, pick up their presents which means that I'll have room in my bedroom can you believe it i certainly can't um let's just put you down so i've got to film a poundland haul as well when we get home oh dear me guys this tripod is rubbish it isn't but it is oh. great angle rachel but yes um i'm just taking the money out of manager um i don't have much left now that I've opened it once, it's like, my body's like, my brain's like, okay, open it and open it and open it again. But I'm only taking so much out for the, um, for the gift cards. It's payday. A week today. A week till payday. A week till payday. So excited for payday. So happy. I'm paid in a week. Very happy indeed. So, I've got all my um, masks in the wash as well, but I'm going to take a disposable one to um, Morrison's because I prefer the, one, the ones that I've found that are, um, one minute, sorry. The ones that I found at, um, what's it called, what's I talking about? What was I talking about guys? I can't believe that, I've totally forgotten what I was talking about. That is annoying. Right, got these coupons, I was talking about something but I can't remember what, aha! The ones that I've just remembered what I was going to say. The ones that I've found at Asda, um, I'll show you in a minute, which are 
these masks. Dum, dum, dum. These are all disposable. These ones fit my face perfectly. These are the, this is the one that I wore to A and E, and for some reason these fit me perfectly. Whereas these ones I got from like Morrison's don't they don't fit right. They're too big. Um, but these ones fit perfectly, so it's great. It's great. So I'm gonna wear one of these ones because I don't have. I have this, but I've got fabric masks left. But the problem with the ones I've got left is that they're either too baggy, they fit, but they're too baggy and they don't form a seal, or that they're just. I just don't like wearing them because they're too, too big, or. Yeah, they do. They're basically, the last ones are too big, and the, the rest of these ones are too big. I've got like pink ones, and that one's actually alright, but I want to wear it. I want to wear one of these ones today, so I'm going to wear a surgical one. So I'm going to wear this one today. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get my bag ready now, and then I'm going to go, we're going to set off. I don't, I'll, I don't actually need help from guys, I just need to get these vouchers spent and get the crystals, so then I've done that. Um, yeah. I shall be taking you with me. I got told yesterday by um, two customers that um, as yesterday was heaving, apparently they had to queue down the um, path to get into Asda, but they didn't bother going in, in the end, and they have reduced their uh, masks, so that's why there's a massive queue. So I'm going to Asda anyway because I'm going to West Side, but what do you guys put this in? Do you know when you put, get, if do you know, if any of you guys use disposable masks, what do you do with it? What do you like put it in, if you know what I mean? Like, what do you use to put it in? Do you know what I mean? I I'm going to have to use, I don't want to fold it up and put it in my pocket like I do with the t these ones. With these ones, look how many I've got. I just want to use a disposable one today. Uh, with these ones, I just shove it in my pocket. Whereas with the disposable ones, I, there is no like easy ways. There is, I've actually. Um, of thinking them, there isn't an easy way of putting them in a little baggie. So I've got to put mine in this little baggie. And because oh, it's disposable in one shot, I'm gonna say I'm gonna take the fabric home with me as well for when I go into the other shop because disposable ones don't last longer than fabric ones. You know what I mean? Anyway, gonna just get ready now to go to guys. There, I've been filming for six minutes. And obviously, guys, I'm gonna film as well. But yes, I'll see you on the way, guys. We squirrel in the tree. <laughs> We're walking to Morrison's. Oh, look how cute! Oh, so it ran out in front of us. Well, it's either bread or something out of the bin, but it's a fatten. Went to Costa. Come on, do your cup. Do your cup. Ching ching. Do your cup. 
Got mum one as well. <coughs> Traffic is mental. Busy time. I'm home from Morrison's Asda and Next and when I walked through the door I instantly started to feel like headed. Great. I don't know why. I think it's just the heat that hit me because it is rather cold outside and now that I'm talking I'm breathless. When is my body going to give me a break? I don't know. And I have just walked up the stairs and down the stairs with a bag. So that might be why. But yeah, back home now. Went to Morrison's and I only spent under a tenner. And um, went to Asda and they didn't buy anything. But went to Next and I spent £6 odd at Costa. I didn't know they were open. I did, like, I got told they were open by a Next colleague who came into work and she said that they were open till 8 but it's clean, it's takeout only but because I've gone past so many times and it's dead upstairs now instead of being heaving I didn't go up, I went up today and yes I got those two hot chocolates, a hot chocolate each and I'm very pleased about that um, I got that because I needed a sugar boost I think what my body's wanting is food because all I've had today is wheat mix and then I've come home and I've had a yoghurt and then I've had um, for shortbread and then went to Morrison's and I've missed lunch but we're having a pick and mix tea tonight with our movie. We're having pizza, chingu johns, sausage rolls, picnic eggs, biscuits, it's just like a pick and mix tea. So we're having like pick and mix tea for that movie night. Um, so I don't know if it's a eat now and then eat later but I'm thinking about just eating now because then my body obviously needs food but yeah I'm home now and been home for about five minutes I'm just waiting for my granddad to come and pick his presents up and drop our shopping off um as to actually wasn't too bad and I have a huge spot right there which is really annoying me um I'm hoping this like heading this fit like fades away and passes because at work I've been feeling it as well, really weird, like it has like, I have a moment where I feel like I'm floating, it sounds weird, but I generally feel, it generally feels like I'm not stood up, right, it feels like I'm moving when I'm not, it's really weird, I can't really explain it, but it feels like I'm on the sea, as in I'm bopping, it's really weird and I hate it, and I have to grip on something because I will fall backwards, so... I'm going to keep an eye on that, but I'm feeling like headed now, but yeah. My granny's just arrived, so I'm now going to go give him his Christmas presents and take our shopping in. Back of my camera, do not come at me guys that I didn't vlog at Morrison's or Asda, well I vlogged in Morrison's. I didn't much in Asda because we was in Asda two minutes, we was in Asda for two minutes. So I didn't vlog in there because we only went in to look for a jumper for Lucy, but they didn't have any. Um, I've just come upstairs because it's nearly time to take my tablet because I've not been told as of yet to stop taking it and um, I've had a few people telling me that it is okay to take the tablet on um, with migraines. I'm I'm not going to say what tablet I'm on but some tablets, some, not all contraceptive tablets are the same so the one I'm not on it can, um, there's a little, uh, the doctor asked me like specific questions, have you had migraines before? Because it can cause illness with migraines. And he said, if you, when they prescribed me it, he was like, if you have had migraines, I can't prescribe you it. Um, I think it's something to do with like the blood pressure because this tablet that I'm on um, can cause blood pressure increases. Um, so that's why I have to have a blood pressure check every month, three months. And on... Wednesday when I went to A and E when I looked because um, she did my blood pressure and my heart rate at the same time. Um, my heart, my blood pressure was was it higher? I think it was higher than um, the f the time I got checked for the pill. But I've been told that I'm not allowed to take the pill anymore. I'm taking my advice from my doctor. Some people are on different tablets. What I'm on, I am on a tablet that you are not allowed to take the not allowed to take it for migraines. But I am going to keep taking it until the doctors told me not to because once I stop taking it, my body will be not getting that extra bit of hormone and it will end up having a period. So I'm going to leave it till next Wednesday and then I shall be contacting 
if the doctors haven't contacted me to say stop taking it, I will be contacting the doctors and I'll be requesting an appointment say, I've been told to stop taking it, but I haven't had a doctor's appointment yet. I've not had a GP tell me to refer me to a different tablet. Um, so I need to go on a different tablet. But I'm going to leave it till next Wednesday. And if they've not contacted me, I'm going to request an appointment and um, change tablets basically. Because so I've been told by my, the a &E doctor that they will begin in touch with me to, con to change tablets. As he even he said, uh, with this specific pill, I'm not allowed to take it because I've had a migraine. Um, so... Because yes, I've had one in the past and I said I had one when I was tiny because the last time I had one was when I was on holiday and that was years ago. It was, I can't remember how old I was. I just remember um, having to go to my bedroom because I saw like fuzziness in my eyesight and then I got this really weird tingling sensation in the back of my eyes and my head and then I had a headache and that was like obviously a migraine but it wasn't as bad as this one. So... Yeah, I'm now going to turn the tablet and then I'll come back to record to you. I'm back, I've just taken it. Um, but it didn't say to stop taking it now. So for my own advice, I am going to keep taking it. Until I've been told not to, to, I've, until I've been told to stop taking it. Which will hopefully be in the next week. But yes. Um, and the worst thing is I've got used to taking the flipping tablet. And I'll be told, oh sorry, we're going to have to change one to a different one. It's just like, I've just got used to it. I don't want to change tablets, but for my health, obviously, I've got to. Um, my washing is on the air. I've done that. Um, the Morrisons, I didn't vlog much, but I got my grandparents their stuff. I got myself some stuff. And as I said, I only got, um, I didn't go to Westside or anything. And I only got, um, I haven't shown you what I got from Morrison's yet. Pardon me. I just need to put this into my money box because all the stuff, all the money from the money box, which is for holidays, going back into it. Which is this change. And because my grandparents have paid me back for the gift cards and for, um, actual cards, which I have not. Oh yeah, I gave them. They're in the gift oh and uh, my gift bags, the presents have also gone to my grandparents. So happy that they finally got their presents and that I don't have to have any more in my bedroom. So chuffed that I no longer have them packs in my bedroom. It sounds so harsh, but it's just, it's the truth, guys. It has been doing my head in. They've been sat at the bottom of my bed for ages. And I'm just, like, so glad to get rid of them so that I now know that they've got their presents and that that's them ticked off the list. It's <sighs> a bit more room in my bedroom. Let me show you what I bought from Morrison's now. So I used... My Minnie Mouse bag, the Minnie Mouse Christmas one, the new one. Um, as I've been requested to make cakes, and I'm going to be making a cake for home. I bought some cake board and um, cake drums and boards. I uh, bought two of these for like two pounds something each. They were two pound thirty five each. I prefer using these to heroes and celebrations tubs because celebration tubs in heroes tub crush the cake. So when it ends up opening up, all the filling is squashed out. Whereas with these. Is a perfect height for the cakes, and when you put them in the box, it's a perfect height, so it's perfect. And then, and then for taking cakes to work and storing them, they were two pound and thirty five each. I bought some mince materials for some reason. I fancied them. These are two for ninety p. No, two for one pound and something or ninety p. So I only wanted one, so I decided to save myself some money. I got some mint materials. I fancied them. I saw them at work the other day and since then I fancied them. I bought some more conditioner because I've run out. I was going to buy two bottles of each shampoo and conditioner. But because it's paid in next week and I've got a full bottle of shampoo in the bathroom. I only need conditioner. I was like, I'm not going to waste money. I'm just going to get one bottle. And the next week I'll stock up when I've got money. So yes, got one bottle of Ultimate Blend conditioner. That was £2. And then I've been needing new toothbrush heads for a while. So I bought these ones. And these seem to be new to... Um, Morrison, sorry, it feels like I've got some stuck to the back of my throat. 
and drunk much of the either. So I got this two pack of Pristine Gleam Universal Brush Heads compatible with a variety of electric toothbrushes. You'll be shocked to find out these were only a pound for two brush heads. I bought these, saving myself some money. They look fine, they probably won't last, as, they won't last near as long as the Oral B ones, but like they were a pound for two heads. It was eight quid for two Oral B heads. Another little song, but oh, come on, a pound. Like, I am trying to save money and with it being paid next week I was like I only need I need some right now but if these are pretty good I'll buy them in the future there's no point in buying full on Oral-B heads if I can get some for cheaper and these are for Oral-B toothbrush electric toothbrushes as well but yeah they just look like that they're perfectly fine I am so happy about these and I don't feel guilty that I bought these because toothbrush heads are toothbrush heads but for a pound for two bargain and then I also bought that's it I only bought five items, two, three, four, yeah, five items and it came to £8.60. But that's because I got them two boards of the cake drums. Them cake drums came to £4.70 together, so really, really chuffed with them. So that means I can finally change my toothbrush head. But yes, that is it. I have got to film a B&M, not B&M, Poundland Hall now. Um, we're having a movie night tonight, so we're having like chicken dippers, pizza, Sausage drawers, I've already told you about this. Um, but I just need to go in my bedroom nice and tidy. My washing is on the area, so pleased I've done that. I cannot believe I've actually got it on the area today. I thought it was going to be like tomorrow, I'm going to do it. Tomorrow, I am off to the depot, the Royal Mail depot. So excited. Um, because last week I went, filmed it, and there was nothing there to actually be picked up. So this week, as I've left it a week, I am going again. Um, I will be going next week as well, but I'm going again tomorrow, and I'm so excited because I have a feeling that something's going to be there now. But if there isn't, there isn't. Um, they are prioritising, obviously prioritising like parcels or anything else at the moment. So obviously they're going to be not prioritising PO box stuff. I don't think. I don't know. It might be. Um, but yes, yeah, really excited to go tomorrow morning. I will be getting up around. 10, 9 ish, 10 ish. Depends how long I want to sleep in tomorrow. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to the depot. Everyone gets confused when I say depot. Like, if I tell like friends or colleagues, like, what do you mean? And I'm like, the Royal Mail office? The Royal Mail. Um, what is it? Depot. That's what I call it. I'm off to the depot tomorrow and I think, what the heck's that? And I'm like, the sorting office, that's it where they collect all the deliveries and that. Um, but yes, I am off to the depot and I'm pretty much looking forward to it. It's a highlight to my week, it generally is, because I love receiving your stuff, guys. I feel so humble receiving your stuff. And like, obviously in the future, um, hopefully soon, it depends, because I have got to put together, I will be doing a giveaway to give back to you guys for sending me stuff, so yes. Um, just need something desk out, it's a bit of a mess. I've decided to take these vouchers out of my purse. Yes, my head was still buzzing. My grandparents, my mum told my grandparents I was off to A&E on Wednesday. And yesterday my grandma, um, my mum called my grandma and my grandma was like, can I talk to Rachel? And she um, was like, so, what happened Wednesday then? Why does this feel wet? What happened? What, your adventures on Wednesday, my granddad said. <laughs> so yes, they found out. Um, we're most likely Zooming tomorrow, we don't know yet. I messaged the group, but um, yes. It's still weird that in my head, like, I'm at 20, first time going to any. it's so weird. I expected it to be like, I don't know, I expected it to be like, more quick paced, as in like, seeing people prioritise first and stuff, but it was calm, it was not as, I generally thought I was going to get there, and it was going to be, oh, she's been fed by a GP, we need to quickly see her, but it wasn't, do you know what I mean, it's relaxed and, it was still urgent, but it was relaxed and yeah, I just calmed down, that's fine. But yeah, I'm still going through my head that I went to a and &E on my own. So very weird. Like now that if I need to go to a &E again, like if it's my heart or something, I have the confidence to go on my own. Of course, I got forced into going on my own because I had to go on my own. So, yay. But yeah, I'm just going to 
sort some stuff out of my bedroom now because my bedroom needs a bit of a tidy and my camera needs a rest and my phone needs charging and I need to go put tea on and I need to film Pearl and Hall and I've got cards to do, my bed to do, I've got quite a few things to do but my camera needs to uh, rest because it's overheating <laughs> once again. It's bad isn't it when you teach your cat how to sit for a treat. Anyway, um, I have just sorted my bedroom out, my desk is much tidier now. Uh, my bed is much tidier and my floor is much tidier and yes I do have a big zit right there and it's doing my head in anyway the gift bags for my grandparents have gone the only bags I've got left now are Shannon and Zoe's which they'll be going soon fingers crossed and then that'll all be done and then I've just got these to put in the bin but yes my bed is now nice and tidy I'm now going to film a Poundland haul so that video can be edited and uploaded tonight for Tuesday and so that I can have room by the side of my bed again because it ain't too bad but it's doing my head in that that's right there and it's sticking out so pieces in the oven for our movie night and my candle is lit I'm now going to get my shepherd out and fill the Poundland haul late watching Madagascar escape to Africa in the living room with Lucy and my mum just had a bath and coming downstairs Lucy's got the reindeer islands on from the Poundland haul which I shall be seeing that spot is hopefully going to go tonight, but yes, bit of a movie night tonight. Second bottle of Jet War. Cheers, everyone. Merry Christmas in a fortnight. Watching Klaus, Klaus on Netflix. This is room temperature, not cold. Hmm, disgusting. But yes, in my glass which I've had for about two years now, never used. Yay. So awkward. Are you needing the blanket? Oh, look at the nickel paws. Hey. And she goes to lay on my bum. There goes her tail. Hi guys, so it's roughly 2am. Yeah, it's just going 2am on Saturday morning. I ended up coming upstairs at half 10 and... 